construction just really stresses them out. There's just so many things. They were doing a lot of rework and it was really just taking an emotional toll on him. And a scary statistic is that uh, construction is one of the number one industries for divorce and suicide rates. And it's real shame because um, it's a beautiful industry, but it's also a really hard industry. There's a lot of ebb and flows. There's a lot of decisions that need to be made in construction. How the steel sits, how the glass on your elevator sits, how the tile lays, what color schluter you're going to use, what color grout you're going to use, what's the hardware for the cabinets, what's the color hardware for the cabinets, what are the door stops, all these things. There's tens of thousands of decisions that need to be made and hundreds of people that come and go through these, con these construction projects. Uh, and it's inevitable that things are going to get missed, things are going to be overlooked, someone's going to do their job wrong, no one's going to communicate something, and that's just the way it goes. You're going to have to do rework and certain things like that. And so there's this ebb and flow and these emotions of highs and lows in this industry. And if you allow yourself to ride those waves and constantly be in this emotional up and down,